How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. There is nothing more satisfying than picking up tons of weight off the ground and holding it in your hands. But there is some controversy regarding the relative effectiveness of both sumo and conventional deadlifts. Both variations will lead to gains, but does one hold a slight edge over the other? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, Let's get started. To start, let's compare relative muscle activation that you can expect to obtain from both variations. Based off of current electromyographic data, there is no significant difference in hip muscle activation between both sumo and conventional deadlifts. However, it was found that vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and tibialis anterior muscle activation was greater in the sumo deadlift, and that gastrocnemius muscle activation was greater in the conventional deadlift. Having a wide stance with your toes pointed outward, narrow grip, and a more vertical torso and thigh position all facilitate greater quadricep activation during a sumo deadlift. An early 90s study published by back wizard Stuart McGill found that sumo deadlifts result in approximately 10% less joint moments and shear force acting on the low back. This may also explain why individuals who suffer from low back pain typically resort to this variation over the conventional deadlift. It appears as though the sumo deadlifts have a slight edge in terms of increasing quadricep activation. But what if we compare other biomechanical variables? Let's take a closer look. When normalized to body height, conventional deadlifts require more mechanical work than sumo deadlifts. More work means greater energy expenditure, which means more calories consumed per rep. So although there is no major difference in hip muscle activation between the sumo and conventional deadlifts, the greater bar displacement during conventional deadlifts require that the hip muscles hold their activation longer. So which deadlift type is best for you? Here's what I think. At the end of the day, your preferred deadlift style comes down to two factors. First is your individual physical characteristics. If you're somebody with shorter arms relative to the rest of your body, chances are the sumo deadlift will provide you with more leverage, which will make you stronger compared to a conventional deadlift. If you're somebody with longer arms, then the opposite would apply. The second factor comes down to muscle strength and joint mobility. If you have strong hip and back extensors, but poor hip mobility, then chances are the conventional deadlift is better suited for you. But if you have strong quadriceps and very good hip mobility, then you're probably gonna be able to lift more weight in the sumo variation. Now, despite these two factors, I strongly recommend that you incorporate both variations in your training program. Improving the deadlift variation you are weakest at will end up generating more strength in the one you are strong at and will also greatly reduce your risk of developing an injury or muscle imbalances down the road. But what do you guys think? Are conventional or sumo deadlifts more effective? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and stay strong. Thank you.